Hi everyone, what's up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, I'm gonna be recommending five items from Louis Vuitton. This is a diverse list, so it's not just going to be handbags, it's a little bit of everything sprinkled here and there, but I'm gonna keep this intro short, simple, and sweet. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it's free and it helps me out tremendously. And if you wanna add anything to this list that you recommend, you're more than welcome to down below in the comment section. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna start with the most affordable and work my way down to the least affordable, which would technically mean working my way up because the prices are higher. Doesn't matter. Starting off with a Twilly or Bandeau. If you saw in the thumbnail that I had my campesines out and about, I'm not recommending this bag, you guys. I love this bag, I think it's amazing, but I can't get on here recommending a bag that costs an arm and a leg to you guys, but I can recommend the Twilly that I purchased on this bag. I did not know when I bought this little thing that I was gonna like it so much. This was very much so an impulsive purchase to where I said, I'm already spending a lot of money, you might as well just throw the Twilly in because I wanted to protect the handle, and I wanted something that was fun that popped with the bag and it was not too expensive. I think I paid 200 euros. I don't know if it's gone up in price since when I purchased it, 205. I don't know if it's gone up in price, but when I had hair before I shaved it off again, I used it as a headband. I have used it in other bags on their handles, my Speedy, my Neo Alma, especially because this color blue looks amazing, wrapped in a little bow with it, and you just get a lot of use from this little thing. You can use it for other bags, not just Louis Vuitton bags. You can use it as a bracelet. I've seen people that are relatively thin use it as maybe a waist center or even a belt. I've seen people use it for jewelry. I've seen people use it as a necklace. There's just so much function in this little twilly right here. They're awesome. There are so many that you can choose from at Louis Vuitton. They have different sizes. Granted, they usually go up in price if you get something longer, thicker, wider. It's just something to look into if you're looking to maybe expand your Louis Vuitton collection or let's say you wanna refresh a bag and make you fall in love with it again. That's like an easy, affordable, easy, affordable way to do so. I would say instead of buying a new bag altogether, the next item, let me think, what was cheaper? Hmm. I think the next item is going to be a perfume. And y'all, oh my gosh, I love, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I love this freaking perfume so freaking much. I love all, I only have two, I have my, this is Le Sable Rose, and the other one is Cure Baton. I think it means beating hearts, and this means like rose sand or pink sand. And I just think Louis Vuitton perfumes, their scents are amazing. This is something that I could also recommend over and over again. I have found a few dupes. What, was, what did I find recently? When I went to the Montal Paris stand that they had in one of the department stores I visited, I sniffed a lot of the scents and there were a few that had very similar notes or a very similar <laughs> DNA to certain Louis Vuitton fragrances. So if you're not looking to spend so much money on a perfume from Louis Vuitton, you can maybe check out Montal Paris, but I just think that their bottling is beautiful. I think the packaging is beautiful. I think the experience is beautiful. And I also like that you can refill this bottle. It has to be refilled at a store that has a refill station. Not all of them do, but if you have a Louis Vuitton close to you, if you're looking for a new perfume, if perfume's something that you enjoy collecting, I'm not a person that would say, don't do it. I would literally be the devil on your shoulder saying, purchase it, buy it. And you can also get your initials on here to make it very special or do, I don't know, a number, or a picture. Or they have like little, I don't know, zodiac signs sometimes, depending on where you're at. And yeah, I just love, love, love their scents. I might purchase another one, but as you guys know, I'm moving and... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any space left. 
The next items that I'm going to recommend are actually things I use on a daily basis. And the first one, which this is the same category, but I'm grouping them together because they're very similar, is going to be a card holder. There are leather card holders, they have exotic card holders, canvas card holders, all types of card holders out there. I have just the plain regular monogram canvas, like is it two slot, three slot card holder. This thing is awesome. I love it. I wear it all the time. And then I'm also recommending a compact wallet as well. I don't like long zippy wallets because a lot of my bags are relatively small. And so even this is pushing it for me. I have one long wallet and it is my long chomp, how do you say continental wallet, I believe is what it's called. And that doesn't fit in a lot of my handbags. And if I want something that maybe carries a little bit more because with my card holder, I do stuff my cash in here, but if I have, I would say an abundance of cards and then I stick cash in here as well, it sometimes loses its grip. And so when I'm carrying a little bit more, if I have change, cash, just things that maybe are receipts and papers flying around, I will bring this instead. And this usually fits in almost every bag. It fits in my Remova bag, it fits in my favorite bag, and those are relatively tiny. I'm trying to think about a smaller bag than that, I don't know. Even though it takes up a lot of space for me, it's still like, I don't know, awesome. <laughs> I do think that if you're someone that maybe doesn't like bags or maybe you don't wanna to spend too much money, these are relatively expensive, yes, but I get a lot more wear out of these than I do some of my bags. So that's something to think about. I mean, you do have to take care of them because the buttons here, they fade, um, they get scratched very easily. Sometimes they have issues, but Louis Vuitton does a pretty good job in repairing these things and fixing them for you if you have issues. So moving on to the next item, which this is probably one of my favorite items that I own from Louis Vuitton. And I just love these, you guys. This was my Christmas present, right? Like last Christmas, I believe. And it is a pair of sunglasses. If you saw my what I got for Christmas haul, then you probably would have seen me try these on. I think these are beautiful. I love Louis Vuitton's sunglasses. They are just different, unique, and they're a novelty. Everything here is a novelty, but the sunglasses from Louis Vuitton are really a novelty because you can get sunglasses anywhere. You can get them from Walmart. It's not like they are UV protecting or anything like that. They're not. They're just really statement pieces in my opinion. And so I have the, I think these are the men's ash aviator sunglasses and I have these smaller because I was able to choose I think like a, a wider or a smaller nose piece and I chose the I don't know I think it was Asian and Western if I'm not mistaken or Eastern and Western and I chose the Eastern size and they told me that that means it's smaller because my nose is relatively thin up here and a lot of times my sunglasses will sit here <laughs> and they sit perfectly on me and yeah, I just think these are amazing. Granted, you can find probably black aviators with gold hardware details anywhere, but it's just something about them that makes them so unique. They have the Louis Vuitton LV logo and the flowers here. They also have it here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and there are other little tiny gold elements as well. And I just think these are so beautiful. These are my bad bitch sunglasses. When I have a whole black outfit on, a black bag, you know, black shoes and these, you really cannot tell me anything. If I have no makeup on even, and I put these on, I just feel like a bad bitch. And I'm like, ooh, ooh. There are a few other pair of sunglasses that I'm eyeing from Louis Vuitton. The ones that I tried out recently in store were called the LV Glam Cat Eye Charm sunglasses, if I'm not mistaken. And they had this very beautiful pink, rosy tint with gold hardware. And they just look freaking cute. They had the little LV charm on them, but I don't know if they would annoy me or not. They are relatively expensive, but I don't know. I don't mind spending money on sunglasses. I feel like bags, sunglasses, and perfumes, I have 
something wrong in my head where I can just spend money on them like crazy. Now, if you were to ask me other items, you know, watches, jewelry, I'm not gonna spend an arm and a leg, but other items like, like I said, perfume, sunglasses, and bags, <laughs> take my money. And so I really think sunglasses from Louis Vuitton are an amazing purchase for me, but you have to know if you like these things because if you're someone that has never purchased a nice pair of sunglasses and taken care of them, then I wouldn't go out and spend 600, 700, 800, a thousand dollars on sunglasses. I would maybe try the next level. For me, what I did in the beginning is that I purchased sunglasses from Walmart and then from Walmart, I think I went up to Key and then from Key, I think I went up to another brand that maybe had sunglasses that sat at the 200-ish dollar range. And then from there, I knew, hey, I take care of my sunglasses. It's not like I throw them everywhere. It's not like they have a bunch of scratches on them, that kind of stuff. I said, I think I can now bite the bullet in getting a very expensive pair of sunglasses. And that's what I guess pushed me to finally get these. And it just makes it even better that they were a gift. <laughs> So the last thing that I'm going to be talking about on this list is the least affordable item, which it's technically still affordable because it is a bag and it's one of Louis Vuitton's more affordable options or most affordable bags that they have right now. And it is my Speedy 25 Bandelier B Bandelier. I don't know how to pronounce it. The one with the strap, you guys. And I freaking love, oh my gosh, the strap is about to fly away. I love this bag, you guys. Now it's very hard to compare this to other Louis Vuitton bags in my collection because I have stuff from a whole bunch of different price points and levels and categories. And so when you're putting this against my cap of scenes, it's very hard for me to say that I like this better, but this is a very functional, versatile, um, efficient, affordable bag that I can do so much more with than let's say my mini Dauphine, my cap of scenes. And I think this is why I'm adding it to the list. If you want to get it with the strap, don't want to get it with the strap, that's your prerogative. I do think that you should get it with the strap because A, it looks better in my opinion with these things on the side. And also you will be happy to use this hands-free. I was thinking of not getting the strap to save a little money. I'm happy I did not because you think you're going to like carrying it like this and it looks cute and it does. But once you fill this thing up, with everything it's heavy and when you just start carrying it just with your hands like this you're not gonna like it <laughs> let me throw in the bag you guys <laughs> but this is what I'm saying like you can just this is such a carefree easy bag if you're looking for something from Louis Vuitton not if you're a seasoned Louis Vuitton expert you got things from Louis Vuitton already then you probably don't need to watch this part of the video and you probably don't need to know anything or hear anything about this bag because you probably are tried it on tested it have it at home in your closet and you don't need to hear me rambling on about it but if you're someone that's looking for something to purchase from Louis Vuitton in the handbag category, I would highly recommend just testing this out. Try it on, just touch it, feel it, and think about the phases in your life that you will be using a handbag. Because let's say I have kids. This is an amazing mom bag. Let's say I wanna hand something down to my children. This is an amazing bag to hand down. Let's say that I need something for work. Not to say that you know this would fit a laptop or anything crazy in there, but you can fit a lot in here. You need a travel bag, this is awesome too. You need something that is a bougie gym bag, this is an amazing option. And so I can use this in different phases of my life, which makes it e like an even better recommendation in my opinion. Now. Do I love my cap scenes, you guys? Yes, wonderful, amazing, piece of art to me. But like I said, they're totally different bags, totally different categories, and this is not an every phase bag. Am I gonna use it, hopefully for the rest of my life? Yes, but it's not something that I can dust out and wear with every single outfit or almost every single outfit that I choose. This bag, however, I can. Like, I'm what I'm wearing right now, I'm just wearing a top, y'all, what my mind. <laughs> My microphone is literally hanging on for dear life y'all because I can't put it up here because it's right on my deck. But even I just have on jeans right now. Hold on, let me, oh, it's not cute. I have on jeans right now, my shirt, and just like this bag matches. I didn't even co coordinate that. It just happened automatically. But look at this, this don't look good. Like that doesn't look good. And so I just know 
that with this bag, I have so many options. I just, it's just an amazing bag, you guys. It's awesome. <laughs> that's, that's why I recommend it. Please, please, please. If you're thinking about getting the Speedy, just try it out. I like this even more than my never for you guys. I never thought the day would come that I liked a bag more than my Neverfull or my Neo Noe because those were sentimental bags to me. They were also relatively affordable bags. Like now, back in the day when I purchased them, they weren't that affordable to me. But when I'm comparing, I guess, the three verse one another, this one will always be the one that I grab for and that I praise up and down. I could see myself selling my Neverfull and my Neo Noe and keeping this bag. And so with that being said, those are the items, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you wanna add anything to the list, you are more than welcome to. I hope this helps you out in shopping. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask me them down below in the comment section. But other than that, love y'all, have a wonderful day, and bye.